everyone, how are you doing? My name is Aditi and today I will tell you about a very interesting topic. Um, let's start with emotions. Yes, emotions. <laughs> you and I are full of emotions. Some people are great at expressing, some people aren't that great at expressing. But at the end of the day, emotions are an integral part of our human existence. So all these top mega companies around the world, they target on satisfying a particular emotional need that you and I experience very often. For example, if you hear me say the word onomatopoeia, let's say you're hearing it for the first time, you're full of doubt and you're like, what on the earth is this? You have a smartphone in your hand, what are you going to do next? Well, if you're like most people, you're going to Google it, correct? So where there is the feeling of doubt, we think of Google. Where there is boredom, we think of YouTube. Where there is loneliness, there is Facebook. And for some people, it's Instagram. There are so many search engines. There are so many social media platforms. Then why only Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram? What makes them so powerful and influential and so successful? despite being such young brands. What's that secret? That's exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'll tell you about the four stage hook model process. It is a very beneficial tool for people who are getting started with the field of UI, UX design, app design, or people who are planning to set up their own businesses. Either way, you will find these basics very helpful. So please make sure to watch this video till the end. All right, so getting back to our topic. Like I told you just now, all these successful brands want to satisfy a particular emotional need that you and I experience almost every other day. And the reason for this is because emotions are beyond any borders or cultures. When you heard me say the word onomatopoeia, you were full of doubt, you had curiosity. So our mind wants to quickly solve this problem. We have two options ahead of us. We can either look for a dictionary, browse through the word and find our answer, or we can just tap a few buttons on the mobile phone which is just in my pocket. Your mind will choose the fastest way possible, something that requires the least amount of effort, which in this case is your smartphone. Your own emotion of doubt and curiosity and unsurety is driving you to use the Google service. Your emotions are almost acting as a trigger to use the service. And this is the first stage of trigger, something is causing you to use the service. Once you've made up your mind, you grab your phone and you take the action of tapping on the Google icon. Or you can say, hey Google, and ask your question. You're either using your fingers or your voice to activate the product. And this is the second stage of action. The lesser the action, the more likable the service is. No matter how hardworking you are, we humans are designed to prefer shortcuts. Shortcuts gives us a lot of joy and pleasure. <laughs> so the lesser the action, the more likable the service is. Once you've uh, typed your question and you've hit the search button, your mind is anticipating results. And within a fraction of seconds, your expectations are met, perfectly met. Now you have a plethora of websites to choose from. You click on any one of those websites and there you see the meaning of the word you were looking for. You learn the word, you learn the pronunciation, and now you're no longer feeling doubtful. You feel smart and intelligent. And this is the third stage of reward. The user's expectations are met. Now this website that you're browsing has some amazing content, so much information. This website is so nice that you actually want to save it, but you can only save a website if you have created an account on Google which means you will have to add your details on the Google servers, which in other words, is that you need to invest your time, your energy and your data on the Google servers. And this is the fourth stage of user investment. Our user is investing their trust, their data information on our servers. Once the user has experienced all these four stages of trigger, action, reward, and investment smooth without any technical issues, you know what's going to happen? They are going to keep coming back to it again and again and again. Today it's onomatopoeia. Tomorrow it could be the capital of Greece. Maybe you're not sure of your answer. So what do you do? Your feelings of curiosity will act as a trigger to use the Google service once again. 
you take the action of tapping on the Google icon, typing in your question, and once you hit the search button, your mind is anticipating rewards. You have multiple options ahead of you. You feel rewarded, your expectations are met. Now you will tap on any one of those websites and you will get your answer. And now, again, you're feeling good about yourself. You feel smart, you're feeling rewarded. This website is really nice. You want to save it for your future browsing. And now you can bookmark the website. We keep repeating this cycle so many times, multiple times to the extent that Google is no longer just a service. It is now a part of your lifestyle. Fascinating, isn't it? Since we are on the YouTube app, let's quickly take the example of YouTube. How we experience these four stages every single day. Tons of project work to be done, but you're simply not in the mood, you don't want to do it. So our feelings of feeling bored or lazy is acting as a trigger to choose YouTube. Then you take the action of tapping on the YouTube app and searching for a motivational video. Your expectations of finding multiple videos is met. You feel rewarded of your decision of choosing YouTube. You tap on any one of those videos. It's a genuinely good video. It makes you feel lighter, more motivated. You're no longer experiencing those negative emotions you had to deal with five minutes ago. You like this video so much that you want to subscribe to the channel. And that's only possible if you've created a YouTube account. Tomorrow, when that same channel uploads a brand new video, you get a notification on your phone. Your mind is full of curiosity. Your curiosity is acting as a trigger to tap on the notification that you just received. You watch this video. It's an awesome video. You feel rewarded for your decision of tapping on the notification. You liked this video so much that you want to smash the like button. You're investing your likes and your dislikes so the next time you open the app, you get all videos in and around similar topics. This is the impact of a well thought design process. Well, this was just a tip of the iceberg that I explained to you in this video. If you're someone who loves to get into the depth of concepts and you want to read about the hook model in detail, then you can check out this book called Hooked. It's by Neer Ayal and I'll add the link to this in my description box. I hope this was helpful to you in some way. If the answer is yes, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to come up with more and more content for you. In the meanwhile, any questions, suggestions or feedback for me, you can write all of that in the comment section and I will try my absolute best to get back as soon as possible. Till then, like I keep saying, have a fabulous day ahead. Take care of yourself. Stay smiling, stay safe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.